Hello, I'm Susan Nash, AAPG. I'm thrilled to be here today with Bill Maloney. He has served numerous roles at AAPG and in the professional world. And right now he is here to talk to us about the upcoming CCUS conference. So welcome, Bill. Thanks, Susan. Thanks for having me. Well, I have a few questions. And first of all, can you please tell us a little bit about your background? Okay, so um, I retired uh, as an executive vice president from Equinor at the end of 2015. Since then, I've uh, served on multiple boards, both on private companies as well as universities. I'm a co-chair of AAPG Sustainable Development Committee. I'm also on the corporate advisory board and a member of the Distinguished Lecture Committee. And so it's <laughs> my, so my work these days is a bit of AAPG and a bit of board work. And, uh, and on the side, I'm a musician and play drums in a band called the Shale Shakers. I love it, the shale shakers. But so busy and so so engaged, and we were so grateful. So uh, on, you will be on a panel. You're chairing a panel at CCUS, Carbon Capture Utilization and Storage, at the conference that will be in April in Houston. And what is the focus of your panel? So my panel's focus is just like what the title indicates. It's CCUS, 10 years on. And so the whole focus of the panel is where are we going to be in 2033 with CCUS? There's so much investment happening, so many projects that people will hear about at the conference that where do we think we will be? And so we have four excellent panelists that will kind of go through their vision of where CCUS will be 10 years on from now. That's really exciting. I'm really I'm excited to know, be there and to listen. So what do you hope attendees will learn from the panel? I think they'll get a glimpse of the future. Um, I, each of the panelists will look at it from a different angle. We have some from large companies, some from smaller companies, and, and they'll see different angles and visions of the future. And I think that will help people decide, okay, what degree do I want to get into this field? Do I want to be part of the CCUS train that's moving down the road fairly quickly these days? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's really important. So overall, what excites you most about this conference? Uh, I think it's the depth and breadth of the entire program. We've got short courses on day one. We've got field trips on the final day. And then we've got three days packed with great speakers um, and, and good keynote speakers, great panels, wonderful technical content. Um, uh, and then my, my hope, at least from what I've seen in registration so far, is that we're going to have a knowledgeable and diverse audience as well. So there's great networking possibilities. So I'm, I'm really excited about the whole thing, uh, because of its depth and breadth of the program that has been put together by the organizing committee. Oh, that's wonderful. And so excited. So, so just to kind of um, take a step further, how do you think the attendees will specifically benefit? I mean, you mentioned networking and knowledge, et cetera. Are, will, there be, will there be opportunities for them to kind of take first steps to put the knowledge in action? Yeah, I think so. I, I, you know, I think the conference will bring everyone up to date on latest advances in CCUS around the world. Right. One of the speakers, one of the keynotes we'll have, will talk about a global study of CCUS projects uh, around the world. So they'll see the latest developments. So it'll be rewarding for people just getting into the field. It'll be also be rewarding for folks that are, quote unquote, experts within the field. There's a bit for everyone there to kind of take away. Oh, that's really great. So thank you again, um, Bill Maloney and uh, CCUS. Um, and many other activities and really looking forward to seeing you at the conference. Great. See you there, Susan. <laughs> Thank you.